Hello YouTubers. In this video, we're going to be covering a 2022 Tesla Model Y Performance. This car has had its tires replaced and I wanted to cover with you the thoughts and considerations you might wanna make when changing out the tires on your Tesla. So there were four considerations. The first one was the gap. Look at the gap between the tire and the body of the car. That's a lot of space. So we wanted to close that gap. The next thing we wanted to resolve was the stretched look of the tires. They are too rounded, they curve into themselves, and they're not vertical, as you can see here. So we wanted to make the tire a bit wider, which would make the tire more vertical, look more normal as you ride down the road. So now let's learn more about tires. What do the numbers mean on the side? Most people have no idea what it means. They just go into a shop and they tell folks uh, at the shop, I need new tires. Well, what do you have? I have a Tesla Model Y. Okay, and then they put a set of tires on it that came on it exactly like it came from the factory. It's important here because what we've done is changed the tires dramatically on this car and it's important to understand how we got there and in order to understand how we got there you got to understand how the tire sizes work so here's a chart what you're looking at here is 195 is the width of the tire that is the first number on any size tire when you go to look at tires you're going to go see them the first number is always the width 195, that's 195 millimeters wide. The second number is 55 in this example, and 55 represents a percentage. So it means 55% of the width. In this case, it was 195 millimeters, and it's going to be 55% tall. That's how tall the rubber part, the black part of the tire will be. It will be 55% tall from 195 millimeters. The next number is the wheel or rim size, and that is, in this case, 18. So when you're looking at this, this is how the tires work. It's important to understand this because we're about to make changes on this Tesla Model Y, and you gotta understand tire sizes in order to understand where we're going. So hopefully this helps a little bit. Now, on to the Tesla. So why are we making changes on the Tesla? Well, A, it's an opportunity. The tires are wore out, it's time for new tires and no time like the present. The next reason why is the tires that are on the Tesla, as you can see in this picture, they're stretched. What does stretched mean? What it means is the width of the tire is smaller than the width of the wheel. So if you were to take that example before of 195 millimeter wide on the tire, let's say that the wheel is 235 millimeters. So what that means is the tire is going to, going to be rounded from the flat part of the tire touching the ground. It's going to be rounded out to the edge of the wheel. Like you can see here, you can barely see it, but it's, it's there. If you look at the backside of this wheel, you can't see all of the sidewall. Why is that? That's because it's pulled in. It's not as wide as the wheel. And so that's what we're trying to accomplish here. It just doesn't look right from behind. It doesn't look right from the side. It looks like a bicycle tire on a big wheel anyway. So what we're going to do is change this. We're going to go from a stretched look to a normal look. So the Tesla Model Y came like this, the performance. Came with a staggered set. First, what does staggered mean? It means that the fronts are a different size than the rears. When you hear the term staggered, that's all it means. It means one size in the front or the rear is a different size. Doesn't matter what the number is. Could be one number, could be two numbers, could be three numbers that are different, but it is different. Doesn't matter. Only one number it takes to be considered staggered. So, the car came this way. It came with 255, 35, 
21s. So let's go back over that number. That's 255 millimeters wide by 35% tall by 21 inches. That is on the front. The rears came with 275, 35, 21 So what was our goal? Our goal was, again, to make the tires look normal so that when you're looking at the side of the tire, it is vertical. It is not rounded or scooped or stretched like you saw in the earlier pictures. It is a normal looking tire. And that is what we've achieved here. So if you look at this front picture, and this back picture of the tires, you're seeing a normal looking tire. So how did we achieve this? So we need to geek out here for just a second and cover what are the ramifications of making a tire size change. What you're looking at here is current and new. Current is the tires that was on it originally. New represents the new tires. And these numbers, we're going to start from the bottom up because they'll make more sense as we go up the list versus down. Tire height. If you were to take a ruler or a yardstick, you're going to measure 28.58 inches tall is from bottom of the ground to the top of the tire for the original tire. The new tire is 29.12, which means it's a taller tire. The current circumference, if you were to Take a ruler and go a yardstick, not a yardstick, tape measure and go around the tire. The old tire was 89.79 inches round. The new tire is 91.48, which makes sense. It's a taller tire, which means it's going to be a bigger circumference. Next is the sidewall height. The old tire was 3.79 inches tall. The new tire is 4.06 inches tall. Again, makes sense. We're putting a taller tire on there because we want that height. We want that vertical mass. We want to be able to see the sidewall of the tire versus it being stretched and blending in with the rubber of the road. The next is the section width. This is how wide is the tire. If you recall, a stretched tire is thinner, like we saw in the previous pictures. The original tire was 10.83 inches wide, the new tire is 11.61. And that just means that it is a wider tire, just like we wanted, like we expected. And the final number is revolutions per mile. A smaller tire, which is the original tire, the current tire was smaller. It was in order, you would make 705 revolutions per mile. With the new tire, you're going to make 692 per mile just means that the new tire is taller. All of those numbers add up because the new tire is taller. So let's go over what did we put on the car. So what you're looking at here are the new tires. This is a Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. This is the preferred tire. We like these. They work well, a bit expensive, but worth the money. The new size tire for the fronts, what you're looking at here is 275 3521s. The original tire was 255 35 21s, which means we went wider by 20 millimeters. We went from 255 to 275. Well, how did that make the tall tire taller? Well, the number, second number stayed the same. 35% of 255 is a smaller number than 35% of 275. So the tire did go taller. So now let's look at the rears. They are 295 31s Remember, they were 275 31s And now they're 20 millimeters wider all the way around. So let's take a look at what does that look like on the car. Besides the size difference on the tires, um, the width of the tires, what you're looking at here is a regular Model Y picture that I found. Do you notice how much room there is between the tire and the body of the car? See how that gap in between there? That's a massive amount of gap in between the tire and the body of the car. So one of the goals that we have besides making the tire wider to making the tire vertical straight up and down on the sidewall was also to close this gap. So it needed to be taller, which is why we went taller. So here's the car. 
this is what it looks like. Look at the side wall of the tires. You now look like a normal tire on a normal car. Everything fits nice and straight and tucked. It's almost as perfectly wide as possible. If it were just a little bit wider, it would be too wide. This thing just looks like it is meant to be here. Looking straight up and down here, it's just couldn't be better. Here are the fronts. They do the same. Everything lines up great. A normal tire. So one of the things I wanted to mention too is, <clears throat> real quick, if you look at the, if you were to try to buy these tires, the 275, 35, 21s for the front, the 295, 35, 21s for the back, you're not, most places online with their online web presence, you're not going to be able to buy these tires for this car. They're going to want you to put on the original manufacturer size tires. So how did we buy these? Well, we had to call the tire shop. We called them and they were able to order these tires, the size we wanted, and fit them to the car. We just couldn't do it through the online website configurator. So we had to go and do it ourselves. So that's kind of what you're seeing here. Not really what you're seeing here, but that's kind of how this came to be. So if you're expecting to go online and order these, you're going to probably have a problem. Call the shop. But YouTubers, as you look at the car, this thing looks fantastic. It looks like it should have always been here. It rides fantastic. There's no rubbing. There's no scraping. There's no bottoming out. The car is quieter than before with these tires. It, it was a win, win, win all the way down the line for making this decision. I highly recommend you do it if you have a Model Y performance. If you have a regular Model Y, this video really isn't for you. It's really for the people that have the performance because that's the only thing I can talk about because that's what we have. Anyway, YouTubers, if you like the video, like the video.